I'm Dr. Mary Albanese. For the past six years, I've taught an art class at the University of Alaska at Fairbanks at their summer sessions called Paint Like Sydney Lawrence. Sydney Lawrence is arguably Alaska's most famous painter who painted Alaska landscapes from the early 1900s to 1940, including his iconic works on the misty majesty of Mount McKinley, now called Denali. Although Sidney Lawrence is widely respected and even beloved by many Alaskans, outside of the state, few people know about him his works. In this video, I'm going to run through his life and his art and how his artworks came to personalize and embody how many Alaskans view their state. After the intro on Sidney Lawrence, I'll take you into one of my classes where some of Alaska's most talented Lawrence style artists will recreate some of his iconic masterworks right before your eyes. Some of the artists will also be recreating works by another much loved Alaskan artist, Fred Magatotz, who used a very different color palette. He was born in Brooklyn in 1865. Like today, this was a time of great technological advancement when the world was changing very fast. The light bulb, the automobile, these things changed the way people lived. Sidney's father wanted him to go to military school uh, he tried it, but it wasn't for him. He studied art with the Hudson River School Painters at the Art Student League in New York, where he met a fellow artist, Alexandrina Dupree. They married in 1889. He was 24. They took a long honeymoon to Europe and settled in the artistic community of St. Ives on the coast of England in Cornwall. They had two children, but domestic bliss was not for him. He left for Africa for the Boer Wars as a news correspondent illustrator. In 1904, having missed the 1901 gold rush in the Klondike, he left for Alaska to prospect for gold, leaving his wife and children behind and he never saw them again. He didn't strike it rich as a prospector and tried his hand at anything he could. He bought a camera and took photographs to sell his postcards in Anchorage, Alaska. At that time, Anchorage was little more than a tent city in a muddy field. After years of struggling as a prospector without success, around 1913, while in a bar in Valdez, he heard two businessmen discuss how much they would like a large painting of Mount McKinley. Sidney Lawrence introduced himself, presenting himself as an award-winning European painter. They decided to stake him to paint a portrait of the mountain. Given the remote access, this took an entire year, but with McKinley, now called Denali, he had found his muse. He rediscovered his identity as an artist and his career as a painter of Alaska was launched. The following year, his six by eight foot painting of Mount McKinley was exhibited at the San Francisco World's Fair. A year later, his paintings were acquired by the Smithsonian Institute for permanent collection. His tonalist style, which had not really stood out in New York or in Cornwall, really suited the great open landscapes of Alaska. And he finally became a success at something. He soon had no shortage of patrons and clients willing to pay top dollar for his landscapes, which captured the misty, moody mountains and scenery of Alaska. Within nine years, he had established himself as Alaska's most prominent and successful artist. In 1928, at the age of 63, he married Jeannie Holman, 22 years his junior. She didn't seem to realize he was already married with a family he'd abandoned. He enjoyed the wealth and respect he gained as an Alaskan artist and loved to tell tall tales about his exploits at the many bars his career provided him with ample funds to sample. He died in 1940 at the age of 74, leaving behind a treasury of enduring imagery of what many Alaskans call the last frontier. His paintings still speak very deeply and very dearly to many Alaskans about the beauty and the wonder of their state. In England, I did um, mechanical stuff, but portraits are actually my favorite. And here's one of my portraits. Uh, yep. I like, you know, I like super I realistic stuff. Paper. <laughs> so that's me, but I like landscapes too.
Alice Mary Raisley. I didn't start painting until I retired. I took Mary's class and a few other classes and I and so this is a recent one that I've done. You can see that. All right. Hell and I've taken art lessons a lot in the last maybe five different teachers in the last few years. Learn something new every time. This is one of my ones from my backyard. We have lots of deer in the backyard. This was a baby deer that was oh, hiding behind the tree waiting for his mom to feed him. So head out. So that's what I did last year when I was home. Going to work on is this. So that's something I'll work on on the side there too. So I'm Diana Soli. I live in Fairbanks and um, I'm a geologist. I worked with Mary, what, 70s, 80s, when you were a geologist up here and I uh, went to school with her and Tom. And I'm Sandy Wilson. I think this is either my third or fourth uh, class with Mary. I always learn a lot. A crazy one. Um, this is Bob Ross. But you know, every painting class you take and every painter you look at, you learn and you learn different techniques. So. So that's me. <laughs> I'm Alicia Cormier. Um, I'm a grad student at the U. Now I have some um, like line, like pencil drawings. So that's a ginger flower.
first day. This is the one in progress that I started. Well, actually, I started it late Monday. Here's Rosemary's first one. This one, you fixed it. You put the oil. Oh, yeah. Isn't that pretty bad? Oh.